летали яблони и груши, поплыли туманы над рекой. Выходила на берег Катюша, на высокий берег, на крутой. A long overdue update on the body build. The turret's interior is finished because each further detailing won't be visible. I don't believe in wasting time and paint on things that can't be seen. The gun breech would get a wash and some aluminum paint, but it's good enough the way it is. Ready for assembly. Back to my old school way of weathering, also known as dry brushing. I used three different shades of earth colors to lay some dust on the lower portions of the hull. First color is Revell Matte 89 Beige, applied with a very soft brush. Second color is Revell Matte 87 Earth Color, applied with a medium soft brush. Third and last color is Revell Matte 86 Khaki, applied with a rather stiff brush. Usually you start dry brushing with the darkest color and then get lighter and lighter in value. In this case it's the other way around. The lightest color goes from the undercarriage up to the lower areas of the upper hull. The second color goes from the undercarriage almost up to the sponsons. The darkest color is only applied around the running gear. And here you can see how the dry brushing changes the tank's color. If you find it difficult to see a difference then I did it well enough. There will be pigments applied in the last stage of weathering. The dry brushing I did here is only meant as a base for that. Шуткой бой, хаживал дружочек, что случилось друг с тобой, Вася Василечек, ой, мило, ой, Вася Василек, э -э -э -э. не место кори, давай, если даже причина никогда не убивает. I think I mentioned it before, I won't use vinyl tracks anymore. So I had to find indie track links for the T34 that look nice and aren't too expensive. I used AFV Club work of the track links. Kit number is AF35173. The track links come on sprues. Six each for the links with the guide horns and two each for those without. <laughs> For me the easiest way was to cut off the links with a knife. At first I used a sanding stick to remove the last bits of sprue gate. I assembled six links each to get a feeling for the tracks. It wasn't difficult and they really looked nice. And they're workable too. I found the sanding stick to be unnecessary. I used the large knife to cut up the links and the small one for cleaning them up. The best way to put the links together is to press one link into the other from above. You can hear the click when you did it the correct way. The pins on the track links are too small and too soft to make for a secure fit. Gluing up the links is advisable because they pop off easily. I assembled both tracks and while the glue was curing I put the wheels on the tank. I used Rebel Conductor Professional and found it to be perfect. After 15 minutes went by I put on the tracks. I assembled 68 links for each track according to the number of track links on the Tamiya vinyl tracks. 
I had to add six more to make these tracks fit properly. I can only imagine how much tension there would have been on the vinyl tracks and that's exactly the reason why I don't want to use them anymore. Looking for accessories at a German online shop shouldn't be too difficult using German keywords like Munition für T3476 or Munitionskisten und Granaten für T3476. As I said, shouldn't. The good thing about a body build is that your body helps you in situations like this. Patrick found this Verlinden set at the same online shop. I will get them with my next order. <laughs> 